friends in this video i am going to discuss on performance testing if you are visiting first time to the testing shala youtube channel please subscribe to testing shala youtube channel so that all our future videos related to testing uh, topics will be in your inbox so that you can enhance your testing skills in easy and simple manner so let's move on to understand what is all about performance testing in mobile application this is very crucial you may be developed your app very beautifully your app may have bigger features its performance is not up to the expectation then nobody is going to use your so let's take example the as per the industry standard your mobile app should able to respond within 3 seconds let's say if i'm going to let's say if i order to buy something i should get immediately within 3 second the confirmation of that order if i don't get that confirmation of the order within the given uh, timeline then users will get frustration users will get frustration it may happen that they may uninstall or they may not be going to use your app uh, in near future ends this is also one of the critical test you should perform against any mobile app which you are going to test in your career when you are launching your mobile app installation when you click on the mobile app icon here you are going to take a reading how much time it is going to take to launch it has to be aligned as per the industry standard if it is taking too much time to launch the application then you should log a defect appropriately development team has to take action in fixing those launching issue if it is taking too much time in launching responsiveness of the app this is also another test scenario where you are going to work on all the component which is available in your mobile app that could be menu items drop downs or navigation bars from one screen to another screen these are the some of the course of your application there you will be seeing on every operation is a appropriate responsiveness should be there if it is not giving within the reliable time then you should log a defect performance of the app when the battery is very low if there are many examples where if there is a battery less than the minimum threshold then some of the apps may not launch or it may say that please uh, attach the power supply while is able to shut down how your mobile app is going to work or if mobile app is on in an intermediate state let's say you are uh, trying to book a order in amazon to buy something when you are trying to buy something in the parallelly it becomes low battery and mobile gets shut down now let's look on the situation what might happen you are in the middle of the order processing right you have to see various combinations of situations or scenarios could also look on is there any leak in the your mobile app that is causing uh, much uh, delay in the responsiveness in your app your mobility app is going to interact with, integrate with uh, other devices such as sensors or it could be printers or it could be location services or it could be wifi or even it could be with another app any of this situation your app should work as expected and you should not degrade the performance thresholds coming installation and un uninstallation to check the time it takes to perform this operation let's say take an example if i'm going to install a mobility app from the play store there should be a specific standard instruction as per the industry standard it has to install within the given time frame if it is not doing that there is a bigger chances that your end users may not be happy and you may dislike your uh, app and you won't be installing that app in the way installation and uninstallation both should work seamlessly without having much issues
different network conditions there are various network conditions are available and network different network conditions could be 2g 3g 4g or lte network wi-fi you can use this any of this network connectivity for your mobile app when you are having this network connectivity to do some operations in your mobile app and we'll have to see if there is any uh, chances of degradation in the network connectivity what happens on your transaction which is done by your mobile app let me explain what is the different network conditions with few examples let's say i have 4g connection i opened the amazon app and i started booking the order suddenly the 4g network goes to 2g now we will have to see how this amazon app is going to behave Do not get abrupt because it is doing certain operations when it was in 4g suddenly it got switched to 2g or even it could be 3g as well now your app should be able to manage this network changes without creating a much trouble on your order you should handle in a more efficient way irrespective of any of these changes so even let's take an another example when you are doing something on using your mobile app suddenly you will be inside the tunnel then how your mobile app is going to respond or another situation let's take example you have climbed the mountain where you have a weak network connectivity is this is also another aspect which you need to look into it on the various different network conditions i hope uh, you understood the what all the different uh, test scenarios which you need to adopt when you are performing performance testing in mobile app i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you are uh, like this video please click on like button if you are not subscribed to this uh, youtube channel please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as when we publish uh, uh, testing related videos thanks for now take care